hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasm. Right off the bat on the old show today, more rumors continue to float about about the old Focus RS. Yes, the vehicle that's been seen pounding around the Norschleife loop, uh, ring of the Nürburgring circuit. Now, this particular vehicle has been rumored to have around 330 brake horsepower, but that since rumor has been floated way upwards of around 350 brake horsepower as four-cylinder turbocharged unit. Also, that torque vectoring system that we talked about for the vehicle, which I had never heard of a front-wheel drive version ever getting this. Well, apparently there's a reason behind that, because this vehicle won't be front-wheel drive. Apparently it's going to be all-wheel drive, which means if you want to live out your World Rally Championship fantasies, you're going to have a lot of choices, at least if you move pretty quickly, including the soon-to-be outgoing Mitsubishi Evolution, not to mention the Subaru WRX. We're also hearing some rumors about that Evolution maybe getting a final edition, special edition coming very soon. And the soon-to-be SRT Dart that's going to be all-wheel drive and turbocharged four-cylinder unit. So, very, very exciting times, especially for us here in the state side. We're going to get a lot of World Rally Championship fun that you quite possibly could, well, could envision yourself driving there. Now, this particular machine is supposedly coming stateside as well under this all-new one Ford umbrella, but we'll keep you in tune more about this. Hopefully get some more concrete answers very, very soon. Next up on the list, this picture may look a tad bit on the familiar side to you. This is a picture of a recovery vehicle operator actually trying to fish a Bugatti Veyron at a Gulf Bay down in Texas back in November 11th of 2009. Now, the owner of this particular machine, which was Andy House, who is now 39, of Texas, actually had just purchased this particular vehicle. Now, in his accounts, he was actually startled while he was fiddling with his phone while driving down the road, uh, startled by a group of birds, maybe some seagulls, and it actually made him spear off into the water. Well, little did he know that he was being filmed by a couple of guys over on the bigger road, just adjacent to it, when the car actually went into the drink. Now, Mr. House actually leapt from the vehicle and swam to shore while leaving the vehicle running, which means that all that salt water got sucked in by that W16 8-liter quad turbocharged unit making over a thousand brake horsepower which completely ruined the engine which completely totaled the automobile well now we're hearing reports that not only did mr house actually purchase this car for a hefty sum of one million dollars but then later insured the car for 2.2 million dollars yes you see where this is going apparently now mr house is under a tad bit of trouble as the local FBI and state officials are actually looking into the video because he didn't know those meddling kids were actually filming at the time which meant that when he was trying to pull off his little insurance fraud scam he didn't think anybody would actually witness it so very intriguing situation we'll let you know more about this when we find out about it but man I didn't think I'd hear about this story ever ever again and if I can find this video up on the old interwebs. I'll throw it up on the Facebook page if you want to check it out. Last up on the list, joy of joys, this photograph hit the old interwebs over the past several days. Yes, it's the brand new 2015 Ford Mustang going into production up near Detroit, Michigan. Yes, super exciting times for a super beautiful Ford Mustang. It's going to be hitting dealer showrooms, and when I get to see this one for the first time in the flesh, I'll put up a picture up on the Facebook page so you can check it out. Now, if you don't know too much about the Mustang, apparently you've been living under a rock, this vehicle will come standard with a normally aspirated V6. Now, you can upgrade that to a actual downgraded uh, turbocharged four-cylinder unit that's going to be making a lot more power than the old V6 version, or you can go with the big King Dog, which is the 5 liter normally aspirated V8. This particular machine is going to be super exciting and super entertaining coming very, very soon. So, well, I'll keep you in tune once I get to see one of these. I'm going to be staking out the old local Ford dealership to try to get my eyes on one of these hopefully very soon. And that's all there was that I thought was worth talking about for this edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts. If you want to jump on over to the Facebook page, the link's down in the show notes. Also, if you want to subscribe to the channel, you can do so at any time and get the first dibs on the brand new shows as soon as they come out. I thank you for watching. 
and we'll see you again real soon.